Hi, I'm Chris Gleason, Chief Clinical Officer at Family Service and Community and Mental Health Center. I'd like to take this opportunity to show you our organization, which has been operating for over 50 years in McHenry County. We want to talk to you about our evidence-based, evidence-informed programs that our therapists uh, provide for the community from early childhood all the way through adult. Throughout this video, you will hear about our programs from Rebecca, Jessica, Deb, and Dr. McMasters who explain what programs we have to offer. What we know is when people walk through our doors, we would like them to leave with the sense of that they are learning to help themselves. We also know that we want to instill in people there is hope, people are resilient, and people recover from both mental health and substance use disorders. My name is Rebecca Cecil. I work at Family Service with the Child and Adolescent Programming. Right now I'm standing in one of our two playrooms here at Family Service. This is the larger of the two. We use this room, often bringing kids in here and doing play therapy, and then we also do groups in this room, and it's really nice. The kids feel comfortable and safe coming in here. There's lots of activities to do, um, especially for our little ones, that we often need several activities during the course of a session, and so that they can pick up some of the things they want to play with and be able to use those within their therapy. Um, one of the programs that we have here at Family Service is Wraparound. Wraparound is a program that works with the entire family and helping to wrap services around the family to help stabilize them in the community. Wraparound is a team-based approach and we use, we work with the family to collaborate with their natural and professional supports to build a team and um, build on their strengths that they have already to help meet those needs. My name is Jessica. I supervise the SAS and ICT programs at Family Service. These programs are very unique programs aimed at um, keeping youth and families in the community. Um, most of the youth that we serve are at risk of hospitalization or placement outside of the community uh, via uh, detention stays or residential stays. And our therapists are all master's level therapists who go into the homes, into the communities to work with these youth and these families to really provide support services, therapeutic services, crisis intervention services. Um, the, the, the therapists come to the homes a couple of times a week uh, and we work with a range of different behavioral, emotional, and substance abuse issues um, in addition to um, trauma and, and, and other situations that have happened with families that they're trying to get through at that time. The ICT program uh, is actually one of only five programs in the entire United States and uh, it's very exciting. We've received two national awards in the last year for the work that we've done. Uh, with youth with co-occurring mental health and substance abuse disorders in their families. In addition to providing therapeutic services, the therapists in these programs also collaborate with other systems, um, both families in addition to schools, hospitals, juvenile justice, uh, in order to really coordinate care and provide a, uh, a full spectrum of services for families. Hi, my name is Debbie Smith. I am the Program Manager for Adult Intensive Services. This program includes our adult intensive mental health programming, our substance abuse programs for adults, and our case management and community support programs out in the community. I'm going to be talking today about our adult intensive services, our crisis program for the agency, and our less intense programs for mental health and substance abuse. So to start off, our adult intensive services, we have programs primarily for substance abuse clients. So we have two intensive outpatient programs. We also have the only intensive outpatient program in the county for heroin addiction as well. We also have an intensive outpatient program for co-occurring disorders, which means it's clients who have a substance abuse diagnosis and a mental health diagnosis. Within our adult intensive services and the services for our less intense outpatient programs, last year we served over 3,000 clients. In our substance abuse programming, we served about almost 1,000 clients, 960 clients. Our TAPS program served almost 300 clients. Our community support services served almost 800 clients. And our more traditional outpatient programming also served over 1,000 clients last year. So we have a lot of services that we can offer a lot of people. Hello, I'm Dr. Elizabeth McMasters. I am the Medical Director at Family Service. Our department consists of five psychiatrists and one nurse practitioner. Two of our psychiatrists specialize in seeing children and one is bilingual. We provide evidence-based and trauma-sensitive care to people of all ages with various psychiatric disorders, including anxiety, ADHD, 
mood disorders, schizophrenia, along with common co-occurring conditions like addiction, developmental disorders, and brain injuries. We provide treatment with patients and families at the center, along with a team of nurses and pharmacy staff, especially with our own pharmacy on-site QOL, along with a group of mental health providers to help people achieve their own recovery. One of our aims in the near future is to integrate care with primary care providers so people can achieve better health of both mind and body. Thanks for stopping by today and viewing our video. Really appreciate you listening to the programs that we offer here at Family Service. I want you to continue to know that there's hope, people are resilient, and people do recover. That is one of the most important things that we provide here. Please stop by our website or come by our office and take a look. Thank you.